Easy. Alright, uh, we'll just hop right into it, shall we? Let's hop right into it. Yeah, how's it going, boys? I know I shoot back, I thought you quit. I kind of did for a little bit. Yeah, I, I kind of did quit for a little bit. I mean... I never intended to go back to Hardcore Trade after I died. It was kind of over at that point. The TLDR, though, is we are playing Ventura slash Ruse Cock DD. Um, <clears throat> it's like the other strong build of the league for me th between this and Archmage. And I, I did want to go with a fresh start. So maybe later, depending on what we drop, we could do some crazy weird shit. But for now, uh, not so keen on any crazy expensive builds because, you know, obviously SSF lol. Cock DD is one button. It actually is. It's, it's, it's basically the Cadaver's Thirst version of DD. I'm glad we managed to make the Ice Nova build. Well, not we managed, but, you know, I'm, I'm glad that there turned out to be a uh, one button version of it. You think I should just farm Scarabs and then do Essences? I don't dislike the strategy. I mean, how quickly do you think I could farm some Scarabs for Essence? Probably not that. I mean, it probably wouldn't be that bad, right? Because you have access to the target nodes and shit. Why do you need essence? Well, the leg mechanic is really good at making fractured bases. And the way you craft fractured bases is with essences. And so the correct way to play SSF, I think, is going to be to farm essences. Now, harvest is probably also a good idea, too. The only thing I don't think is a good idea is expedition. I think expedition is big shit. All right, chat, I need to decide where I'm doing my points. Um, I have Necropolis and I have Map Sustain, so that's potent. Surely I go for the Quant Wheel, right? Or do you think I should go for boss maps? You know what? Do you think I should go for Destructive Play? I feel like I could do it now. I mean, it would be the fastest way to get my Atlas unlocked, right? What about Essence and Implicit on Boots? E wow! What? What was that? What? Wait, what was that? What? What just happened? I just got a fucking brother's gift? Keep getting away with it. What just happened? Who was that? Who put that in there? What? Yo, plus five! <laughs> yo, yo, plus five! That wasn't even Gravitious. Who was that? Was that Riker? Why is this version of DD so strong? So, to be clear, this version of DD, believe it or not, against, against what you might think, is not actually strong in the sense of like maximum power level. Which might be a little bit like counter to what you've heard or been told. So it, it's it's um, hard to quantify, but the power of automating a skill like Detonate Dead is just very good. It's just very, 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 very good. Because, like, if you do Arcanist Brand, Self-Cast, Necro, DD, I think you could definitely argue it's a better gauntlet setup. Like, it is an objectively stronger build for, like, clearing content without dying, right? However, in terms of playstyle and enjoyment of the build and all that kind of shit, the actual power and comfort and all that kind of shit that comes with a one-button build, and there is inherent safety as well in automating that playstyle as well, like, not having to desecrate before every path. Like I said, it might not show up in POB very well. Like you might have, you might end up losing some damage or a lot of tank or some shit. That's kind of like how, remember when I told you guys chat, I lost 40% damage and like 20% EHB dropping my, um, dropping to Katava's Thirst and I still did it anyway. It's, it's, that's kind of the, that's kind of the reason. What shield is that? I'm so glad, I'm so glad that you, dear Twitch Shadow, I'm so glad that you have asked this question in specific. I'm so glad, I'm so grateful for you asking the question about my shield and the MTX that I have put upon the shield. So, my good friend Twitch Shadow person, my shield is a race of award from season 8. Exclusive to that race 10 years ago for 600 race uh, points That I won and it's worth a lot of currency and it's very cool You guys like my shield? What the fuck dude the gravity is so good. It's so good 
กว่าโฟซี่ so good มาถึงไปเลย I made 12D in one hour Yo chat I'm making YouTube guide How I farm 12D in one hour and solo cell found I'm making a fucking let's make the fucking YouTube guide guys let's do it <laughs> look at that chat look 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 12 divines look at that should I um delete at a divine orb to get um phrase immunity I feel like I should it's either this or do uh sanctum I'm pretty sure I should do this I'm doing it fuck you guys I did it oh it hurts it hurts I think they should remove phrase immunity from Pantheon. I think you should shut your mouth and listen to my story about season eight. No more hardcore. Um, to put it, to quote Quinn sixty nine, softcore is my safe place. To, to quote Quinn sixty nine from earlier today, that if you died in hardcore with the mage blood, you would relate. I walked away from the computer for a couple hours. Yeah, I, I was, it was more than a couple hours for me. It was two days apparently. <laughs> it was two days. Oh no, oh no. What about that shield of yours? I am so glad that somebody finally asked me about my shield. I'm leaving. But before you go, can I tell you about my shield? I will not die to this piece of shit boss again. Will you go for an 8 league blizzard crown craft? Yeah, yeah, I think I will. Apparently it just pushes the build to the 60 million DPS territory. <laughs> Yo, I didn't die there, right? Holy fuck. Yo, I got my ash. Yeah, did I die? Holy shit. Okay, well, are you guys ready for an adventure? Are you guys ready for an adventure? <laughs> Oh! PTSD. You fucked that busted. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Stay in softcore. Of course, it had to be that same bus, didn't it? It had to be the same. It had to be the same bus. Oh, am I gonna six portal on this shit? Dude, he's so angry. He's so angry! Ch Chani, he's, he's, I'm, I'm, what? What just happened? Why am I bear trapped? Oh my god, I, cause, cause I witnessed! No! No! Okay, I fucked that shit. No. Chani, I'm not dying again. I was bear trapped and I had no juice left. Oh, come on! No! God damn it. Do I only have one more portal left? After this one. Oh no. No, no, I'm gonna lose. Dude, I should get cull. I should get cull. I can't cull because I the build fucking doesn't facilitate cull. No. One more new toy. Oh my god. Sir, this is a weird HC mode you HM. Okay, just don't get fucking die. Am I gonna die? Oh No. Alright, I think that one. I think that one. I definitely think you can do T17s without them. Oh no, I died. No! How did I die? What? All hits are critical strikes, 120% crit multi. <laughs> no! Hardcore gamer, by Die. the way. Oh no, dude, I suck, chat. Chat, I suck. Chat, I suck, dude. I mean, I can't not do the juice. I can't not do the juice, right? I mean, back to the beach. Shoot. Int, I... Nah, you wouldn't do the int, right? No, you wouldn't. I'm pretty sure I just use that. I, I, honestly, I think I just fit that in, right? 
Like straight up, I on, honestly, I think I try to fit that in. I mean, I can I can definitely settle on that for now. Just multi mod it. <laughs> I don't have multi mod chat. Is there a pleb version of the first damage taken mod? There is. I'm just gonna do the pleb version. All right, so that gave me 30% first damage taken as Ellie. I think that's heaps. Is still Marcus winning? Ventura, I'm already spell suppression capped with 30 first damage taken as Ellie. Good armor, good evasion, chill. I just need a little bit of fire leech on my gloves and then, yeah. It's such a good, it's actually such a smooth build for SSF. It's very nice. All right, Blight Ravage map. Easy as fuck, dude. Pretty good, eh, chat? Pretty good, eh? Wow. Wow. Yo, that's sick. What the fuck? Yo, I got a spore guard, dude. <laughs> what? Yo, that's sick. What the fuck? Yo, I don't think I've ever dropped that. I don't I think that might be the... Is that the first time I've ever dropped it? You didn't ask. It counts. Boom. Boom. <laughs> Yo, it's limping here. You're limping. <laughs> yeah, that's a sick. That's sick, dude. That's a multi mod, right? No way. That's actually sick, dude. Gravicious will provide. Where's your Atlas start? Um, Kirak, Necropolis, and Map Sustain. A bit of a different Atlas. I just feel like Necropolis is so strong that you have to go Necropolis. I kind of replaced all crafting with Necropolis because Necropolis is just insane. Which I think we can agree is a bit of a failed venture. What do you guys think? Atlas passives for League Mechanic within League. Yay or nay? Nay, yeah. I think I agree. I, I'm glad we got to see what it would look like though. I mean, because I was really curious if like Atlas passage during Sanctum, for example, would have been a good idea. I think what I didn't realize is that in order for the passives to be impactful, they have to be good. And by making them good, they just feel mandatory. So it just kind of like limits your atlas a lot because you just kind of you, you kind of end up forced to spec into it because it's just so much value otherwise to, you're wasting it should be like sentinel do you think each league should come with its own custom like tree essentially then like like sentinel that's not a bad idea to be honest with you yeah maybe not every time but maybe like maybe that's just the better system that they should utilize when it feels right. Maybe not every time though, yeah. Maybe not every time. Before the league started, I made a path of building. And in that path of building, I had a perfect sixth mod, Profane Wand. However, before releasing the build to the public, I decided, you know what? It's not realistic to craft this gear. Even for me, it's not very realistic. And so, I took it off the POB. This league, we have managed to not only craft that exact same gear, but better. Now, the power creep comes from the fact that the gear standard is significantly higher. As an example, right? Khan, when he plays Bone Shatter, he does not POB T1, 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 Veil. He only POBs like Veil, Tier 4, Deafening, Essence, right? But this league, it's possible. Not only possible, but deterministic to get T1, 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 T1 with the thing. So that is a form of power creep. The, the power creep is like the expected gear. And keeping in mind, you might be like, oh, well, blah, 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 blah. Like you need like 5 trillion chat. He leak started fresh up, guess it was a hardcore. And by day four, he had three axes with T1, 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 T1. Three, not just one, not just two, fucking three. And obviously he's just one example out of like, you know, thousands, right? Um, to be clear, this is only if you choose to engage with the mechanic. The people that refuse to engage with the mechanic, complaining that the league doesn't offer anything, are like, the fact that you can do it in SSF is proof that it's literally effort in, output. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta like, you gotta do, you gotta work a little bit for it. Um, I'm not here. I'm not trying to tell you it's fun. I'm just trying to tell you it is power creep. It is power. Like getting the gear that you can achieve this league is power creep. Um, another example of the power creep in the league is not just like the expected level of gear, but also the ceiling has raised. So if you look at um, some of the haunted modifiers themselves, as well as the 
fractured influence gear. Gear strategies that were previously essentially not obtainable are now possible. We have access to fractured influence gear, which is something with I don't think it's that's new. It's like literally not been possible before. So uh, as an example, Rue 2's POB, even with like perfect gear, with the ceiling for that build was raised due to the introduction of fractured influence gear. We can now reasonably, even in SSF, obtain uh, 8 link or, you know, uh, you, you might have heard the term like 11 link or 12 link from like Squire uh, 9 link one handers or, um, yeah, like gear like this, for example. This is previously unobtainable uh, by like, may maybe by like the most lucky and dedicated of Miratia crafters, this gear is now obtainable even in solo cell found environments. So early on, a lot of us, myself included, thought that meta modifier could potentially include additional craft, right? Because it wasn't abundantly obviously clear, like what is a meta craft exactly? Um, but we do now have confirmation. Confirmation as best as any can, we can possibly have realistically. Um, what is a meta craft? And so if you go to filled coffins, you can now actually see what a base type, meta craft, unique craft is. And we can clearly see a mana craft is defined as row, column, effect, persistence, or randomize. Notably absent is um, all the socket link mods, the reroll base defense, implicit, reroll links, and most importantly, fracture and additional item. These are not meta modifiers defi defined by the PE website. So if you're looking to um, get more meta crafts, do not, do not take the top right. So like anybody who's got decisive souls on your atlas, you may want to reconsider taking them. Hey, oh my God, yes. Oh, oh, just randomly. Okay, good, 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 good. One essence, nah, 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 we're doing the big dick. I fucking, I was patient and it was, it's gonna be worth it, chat. What did you get? My final exile, which might not seem like a big deal, but in order to craft hits can't be evaded, you need three more exalted orbs to craft it. So it's actually a very important um, milestone to reach. So I have all the recipes. I've done all my grave crafting stuff, ready to go. Uh, let's get, let's go. Do we go for the big PP weapon? Do we like, do I, do I attempt the big PP weapon? I think I do, right? Yeah, all right, fuck it. Now, this might fail. It's okay if it does. I think if it fails, we just craft on it, but I will attempt the big PP. So we want linked, 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 linked. I'm rerolling these. God, it looks like it's so high chance to hit, but I only have one try. <laughs> it's like a coin flip, boys. It's like a fucking coin flip. <laughs> no, I'm so, I'm a bit nervous. It's the weapon 30 quality. It is, it's 30 quality, one explicit, which is correct. It's, I, I, I think the only thing I could maybe add is, I mean, no, we're good. This is it, it is what it is, I think. Yeah, it is what it is. Uh, One-handed sword, battered foil. So it is a battered foil, right? Just to confirm. I little 85 mod. The glow of Lunaris heal your pains and aid this soldier and become a weapon to cut the wicked. I missed. So close too though. I missed the most important mod too though. I missed attack speed. Fuck. Yeah, I'm not gonna waste the veil. Um Attack speed, crit. I mean, that gets the job done. I could just craft hits can't be rated on that and very much so call it a day. Cause I mean, it's just three egg. Yeah, fuck it. Let's just do it. That's an insane upgrade. Yeah, there's no way I don't do that shit. There's no way. Um, and so what, now I get vitality chat, right? I mean, vitality is insane for this build. It gives me life and mana regen. It's like vitality is cracked, dude. Jack. Cheers for asking about my shield constantly. I don't know why you guys are so obsessed with my shield from season eight. Uh, that was 600 race points and it's very cool. I don't know why you guys kept asking about it all day. It was kind of weird to be honest with you, but I, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed looking at my shield. This shield right here. 
guys. I hope you guys. I just tuned in while she held <laughs> Yeah, anyway guys, when I get back, we we'll literally have Uber Elder um, Pretty much banked Pretty much, pretty much, ish I'm kind of stuck on Enslaver Fragments, but we ish, ish, close enough um, So we can do Uber Elder, Maven, Planner Atlases, Theorycraft, what we're gonna do for gear progression and take a proper look at the POB and like see how much damage we have and shit. We can start doing corpse manipulation with meat sacks. Um, and maybe even take a quick peek into T17s with shrines. Because you can kind of like cheese it with shrines on fortress. So we'll do that. All tomorrow boys. So yeah, anyway. Cheers for hanging out. Um, and yeah, GG boys. GG. I'll see you guys, uh, I'll see you guys when I wake up. Bye bye.